Hello, this is G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Last time, we got more party members with Eolio, who joins us with five new Mars gems. My personal favorites of the ones he has are Chili, which is a new Mars attack genie there, and Glow, which has an 80% chance to revive a party member, so it's much more accurate than the ones that we've already gotten up to this point. Oh yeah, kind of forgot about him when we were going through that opera house, but we didn't see him anywhere. Well then, what are you guys doing here? Oh, really? Huh, I don't know what that's all about, but, well, we have a ship. So we can get out of here. Whoa! Nice. Well, what do you mean? Of course he's preoccupied. The world's coming to an end. And unfortunately, we still can't go below deck. So, well, I mean, we could before, but, you know, we can't do it now. So if you missed out, you're screwed! Yeah, I, I don't know what that's all about, but I guess we're not going to find out now. So, yeah, we've done everything we can in Belinsk, so let's shove off. Whoa! Must be real hungry after being in prison for so long, huh, Yolio? Oh, or Volacek. Well, sorry, we kind of need to move now. Goodbye! Well, I guess he wasn't uh, that talkative anyway. Well, what's going on? Are you good? Are you two gonna actually talk to each other? Ah, oh, there you go. Hey, how's it going? Ha-ha! Well, what's that thing? Look at the pretty ball! Do-do-do-do! I... don't know what the point of that is! But alright. So, how did you steal that from GLaDOS if you completely trusted them at the time. It doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. But at least we got whatever that orb is. That's... Besides, we're... Yeah, we, we gotta get moving. Well, goodbye! Don't jump in the water and try to go after him! No, what are you doing? You're doing it wrong! You're supposed to be irrationally overly attached to him and have to ha make the rest of us hold you back from getting yourself killed going after him! Nice little cutscene they got there, though. So... Did we make it? I mean, we're alive, so... Unless this is a dream. Well, if it were a dream, we'd probably still be alive, wouldn't we? Oh. Well, you might not want to wake up there now. What, you just let all of us... Lie out here? Oh. Okay. Well, why not? Well, yeah, that's what happens when you sleep on the floor. But I suppose we didn't really have much of a choice, did we? Well, at least we're not surrounded by ice. Yeah, if you, uh... Well, I'll go over it in a moment. Well, 
Well, yeah, they didn't bother changing her. <laughs> I like how she kind of blushes there. <laughs> no, not really. I just wanted to jack around with you. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't exactly throw it, but we got it. You got it over here. Is it a, a bowling ball? Or a cannonball? I mean, we do have cannons on this thing. Too bad they don't do anything, like, in battle or something. Well, yeah, it's not like it says this side up or something. It's not like a magic eight ball or anything. Well, yeah, it's easy to be calm when you can't talk! And I can only influence everyone around me with my facial expressions. Well, what does he want us to do? Throw it at Blados' head or something? Well, nothing, really. Oh. Well, yeah, I suppose. He learned how to get kidnapped. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations. You nearly brought the world to an end. You're very skilled at that. Oh, okay. Well, we really don't know a whole lot, despite all of that. Bad guys haven't really been around long enough to do that. Oh, okay, well, good, good. Oh, uh, really? Oh, I was just jacking with you. I, I, I was just, you know, being impulsive. But, uh, yeah, okay, might as well get moving. Or are we going to just sit here and talk about the same thing for the next five minutes? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that was the general idea. I guess they figured they didn't need to dismantle it or destroy it because, uh, what was it? Because, you know, alchemy was sealed away. So, I mean, it's like, why bother dealing with the symptom when you can just uproot the cause and be done with it? But, uh, yeah, with all that snow and ice from earlier, that's blocking uh, Belinsk and, like, Port Rago or anywhere in Morgal territory there. So that's why we can't go back there. But uh, maybe I'll show that eventually. Revenge! Yeah, that's a lesson for the kids. But at least he seems cheerier now. <laughs> I like how uh, the ladies seem to have no problem with Matthew being in charge. How do you even know? I haven't said anything to you. Well, you know how to shut your mouth and quit getting yourself into trouble. Oh, okay. So yeah, the... Uh, what is it? The, I think they call it the Grave Eclipse. That doesn't cover the entire world, despite the world being flat. It just covers the middle part of it. So, yeah, you see, like, to the left, there's the shaded area that's under the eclipse. That's where you would run into those enemies that we did before that are much more powerful, but they give a lot more experience. And, yeah, on the other side, we have normal ocean enemies, like we did in the Lost Age there, and stuff. 
we've got a lot of places we could go to. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go into the Eclipsed area for now. Instead, well, fortunately, since we got out of Blintz, we ended up right near an island that is just so happens to be very well situated next or just outside of the Eclipse there. Uh, let's see, Haroon Village there. Well, yeah, it's kind of a tiny island, isn't it? I will be rearranging my setup off-screen eventually, but, uh, not right now. And as far as, I was going to say mind reading, but no, like, spirit sensing, I'll probably handle that from now on like I do with encyclopedia entries, where I'll leave it on there for a second or two if you guys really want to read all that stuff, but otherwise I will kind of skim through it, unless it's something that I think is really important. Oh. Well, yeah, probably dead. That's... Oh, do you know something about that? Thank you for spelling canceling the way I prefer. Well, let's check out the Sanctum they got here. Get a little treasure. Awesome. I'm surprised I haven't used more elixirs than I have. But, uh, yeah, that guy... Yeah, the only way to talk to him is with Spirit Sense there. Let's see, here we got... Uh, well, a shop that sells weapons, armor, and items. You can tell because of the three-circle triangle pattern on the top of the door there. Oh, um, well, yeah, the good thing your village is in just the right spot. Man, what is it with seaweed in all of these games? Okay, well, let's see. I need to get a little more inventory space there for Sveta because, well, there's a new piece of equipment that I want to get for her. So, let's see. Where is it? Well, first, let's get some more Waters of Life as long as they have them for sale. I've got nothing better to spend my money on. But what I do want to buy is the Jeweled Crown, which, if I recall correctly, is a female exclusive piece of headgear and boosts your luck by five. So, that helps against status ailments and things like that. Speaking of which, I will eventually want to use all those Lucky Peppers on Eolio. He's the one I've been waiting for to use those, but uh, not right now. I'll do that later. Oh, yeah, evidently. Remember that for later, viewers. By the way, with the whole ocean and everything like that, uh, we have a lot of places that we can go to. It's really open at this point in the game. Uh, I, the first thing I want to do is get our eighth party member, because they are really, really good. So, I'll do that. So, in order to recruit them, I need to go here first. So, I mean, it won't happen right away, but we do need to do some things here first before we can recruit them. So, we'll get to that soon enough. Not today, though. Uh, no, I don't need to rest up there. I don't think I do. I mean, I did a whole lot of resting back at the... back on the ship. Or on the deck of the ship. Man, they really love their seaweed around here, but I guess, you know, maybe they don't have very many options. Oh. Oh, no, no, that, that wasn't them. Yeah, you might want to stay out of the eclipse. Don't look at it either. I'd imagine that wouldn't be very good for your eyesight. Well, 
Well, yeah, that's generally what they do. That's why we kill them. But, uh... No, your mind's not going. That's just mind reading and all that. Well, good for you. At least some people survived. Not many, I would imagine. Oh! N no, it's kind of late for that now. Oh. Well, okay, uh, humor me. I'll humor you then, sure. Oh. Okay, never mind then. Oh, what's that? I don't think that's pretty relevant, but maybe I'm forgetting something about the plot. I probably am. Whoa! Well, at least you're still alive. W what do you mean, a black star? Oh. It'd be funny if his last name began with the letter B, making his full name, I can be. Yoritomo can be? No. No, that's another game, viewers. Oh, hmm. Well, remember that for later, viewers. That actually is important for the plot, and he's saying something about a storyteller, I can. Or... Econ, or however you want to pronounce his name. Okay, so let's see. We got more defense there. I am going to be bringing Reef into my party because he's pretty behind on experience, and I am not going to be getting a new weapon for him for quite some time. So, we might as well do something with him. So, let's see what we got over here in this secret cave. Ooh, Genie with a little puzzle for us to solve. Now, by the way, as far as weapon mastery goes, uh, with Eolio, he's basically, I think he's exactly the same as uh, Tyrell there, except he can't, Eolio cannot equip long swords. So what I do at this point in the game is I have Eolio focus on axes, and then I have... Tyrell start focusing more on long swords because those are really powerful weapons in the late game here. And also there we got the Spring Genie, which is a single targeted healing genie like Garland. Uh, I don't particularly care for it, but it is available. Yeah, Mercury Gen, not so extraordinary. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wanted to talk to the storyteller last, so. Well, I'm not exactly a grown-up. Man, you're just giving nuts to all the ladies, huh, Matthew? Oh. Well, they probably got eaten. Or just killed. But alright. Man, everyone's got stoves around here. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a bookshelf there. Kind of hard to see there. Yeah, it just so happens that the first village we happen to run into has some information about our pertinent problem. There's a tall crate there to the left. You can move it, but it doesn't do anything right now, so don't worry about it. Nuts. Well, remember what she was talking about with her uh, family there for later. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So, basically, what we need to do here, we need to get some more information from the storyteller. I can here and in order to do that we gotta find what was he saying his grandson or whatever went missing and there's the other kid who was saying about where what was it hiding spot or something or other we gotta put all the clues together so that 
we can find them. Can we do it? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!